So the battle is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a battle royale here. This is the A plus B equals free painting battle royale with our two Ibiza artists. A, which is Robert Arato, painter extraordinaire, and at home here on the home court advantage. And here, Boke, residing as the returning champion, depending on who won the last battle, which is yet to be seen. Tonight's battle will take place here live at Sweet Spot Studios. So, let the battle royale begin. Gentlemen, the rules are, there are no rules. Yeah, we play basketball. <laughs> Free shots as yeah. well. All right, gentlemen, choose your weapons. <laughs> We're about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. The Battle Royale is taking off. With basketball as the theme, the boys get started with Boke beginning with a nice fresh, look at that, a nice persuasive box out. Uh, boxing out for the, them boys move into their pieces. Who starts first is anybody's guess. Let's see if we can get a nice. Beginning with the first strikeout, we see Robert Arato moving into the white canvas with a bit of black in the top left corner. Bokeh down below, using that amazing style with red marker. crossing back between pieces already starting to take shape. Boke returns the black mo black burst blasting out of what seems like an eye of Boke's red piece. A new mark is moved onto the black canvas. A splash of yellow. Notice the differing styles. Ooh, immediately a response from the yellow with an orange. Uh, back and forth, the block and box out. Moves to strategic moves by Bokeh. <laughs> Robert responds quickly and efficiently. Ah, and now we see the final scape is done with a blast of yellow on the far scape. Moving through, oh yes, responsive and quick, the two are making their rounds, Robert and Boke. And now we have one, two, three, four canvases involved. One for one, each of the pieces starting to take their own individual charm, starting to make a little bit of shape and form coming from each one, but just barely, as if the tip of one iceberg. Contrasting white lines on the black canvas by Robert Rato. Using chalk. whites and reds blasted on the black canvas 
with that splash of yellow to the right side. Now moving down through, all of a sudden an image appears out of the madness. The two concentrating on the black canvas and it's starting to take form. Oh. Wow. And as if by magic. Changing medium. Mm. With broad strokes, a massive bit of white comes out as Robert responds back with a spray can. Giving this iconic woman a gray headdress of spiraling aura-induced steam coming out of the top, glowing as if like a light bulb, an idea, some sort of fascinating drift. Different styles, using different styles, walking back and forth. Bokeh attacks the fourth canvas, the one that used to be the original seascape of Robert Arato, with strikes of a turquoise greenish sort of slashing effect. Putting boats on his big blue sea. Balearia, Acciona, Transamerica. We don't know. Now here comes the spray. Tienes una cosa atrás. And as you see, with just a little splash of spray cane, 
the boots seem to <clears throat> kick off what was an absolutely interesting piece that now has a head and feet and seems to be dancing the can-can across the stage. point of view and vantage point, the boys have made some fascinating moves on the inside. Now, in an uncalculated move, Robert Arato moves for the reverse flip. As all of the pieces take a new turn, we start to see them in a new light, as what they may end up as and may still be.
Robert Arata responding to the lips of Bokeh with a bit of Mick Jagger. A great amount of progress is coming. As you can see, the third to last painting that started out in the black has now expressed itself into not just a psychedelic woman with a very large city on her head coming in through to the future, but as well a Hendrix-like character and multicolored yellows and whites spiraling himself down the side as Robert Arato starts to paint in the shadows that float around this ominous figure. Boke responds to the right with a bit of blast of yellow to the large big red head that's been turned upside down and splashed down with water, mm, screaming across with a yellow spine eye. A bit of turpentine sunrise.
Notice how they work hand in hand, side by side, one over the other, one filling in the other, outlining. As the piece takes its shape, the two moving like guarded forward. Center, point guard. Moving in for that gut wrenching play. We're gonna take a break. We've got a 25 minute halftime point right here. And the shot's up. Oh! At the quarter, we can go into a little bit of questioning here. What do we think? Robert, let's talk about that piece. How was that last quarter? Okay. What? What exactly do you mean? Give me the play-by-play. -play. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we see here this original over here. Let's talk about the, uh, the sentiments as we were moving through this last quarter. What did it feel like for you? Um, we'll make you focus, that piece. Well, that was obvious, no, because it looked like a mouth, so I had a great ready. Mm, but before it looked like a simple. mouth, it was up, turned the other way. What caused you to think about it in another direction? What, the oh. the, the okay. <laughs> and then this one? Wow. Yeah. Um, here's a um, question of like beating the cows. Beating the cows to many elements, and then yes. this one. Yeah, this one for me had from the beginning like a mystic dimension. Yes, very quickly it had. Uh, so that was, I felt here careful mm. at work. While this one on the right, it was just like throwing things without considerations at all. And this was. Okay, stay with the mystic vibe. No? Yeah. And this, yeah, this, this is it's turned into, into wow, wow, cool. This really good. It's like finished for me. So. Yeah, strong. Yeah, that is really strong. Yeah. Okay, we'll let you get back on it. As we can see, <clears throat> the mouth has turned into a gesture of its own. Book has, has begun to put himself and form. Wow, the big image. The bigger picture. Yes, the bigger picture. Okay, a little commentary? Uh, no comment. Yeah. You see, art is as art says and does. We love this. This is the Battle Royale. A plus B equals free. An unprecedented battle between artists going at it with their finest work. And look at that in the end. That is an amazing piece. Wow. That giant mouth turning into something special.
as we see, it starts to take shape here with some of the originals just turning itself into an iconic lectern of work. One, two, three, four. Totally different. Totally with its own life. And now with some soul. Just recently, some of the newer Andy Warhol works have gone on sale <laughs> <laughs> for three hundred million. Imagine this for works of art that were created in a similar factory to this one. And now you see how it's done. How iconic works get created. The Bataya. this break to get you back to a bit of Bataya. Dylan, the boys are about to spray on. A plus B equals 3 has been coming to you live to give you this almost done battle of the Ibiza artists. With two completed works, two final works yet to be completed. One maybe just a little touch, but the other one is about to transform itself. Similar to the Lakers and the Kings, I think the two are on to something interesting here. Oh, this is 
both of those battles down to the last, down to the final bit. The living 70s now. There we go. Stunt response is in blasts of yellow from book eight. Robert pulling up with short pursuits and brush. themselves come together with a collage of sorts that almost resemble an Amish. Our own very own guy box. Touching this one that makes it the masterpiece, the thing that moves it from something that was maybe 15. A veritable potpourri of tantalizing tastiness this battle has been. Coming to a climactic ending here. As you can see, drawing to a close some of the last lines of what are certain to be priceless classics.
Ladies and gentlemen, this has been an absolute first for our original paintings coming through from the two great artists, Roberto Arato, Robert Arato, and Bokeh. Hey.